Moving on from creating the animated arrow in After Effects, we're going to look at making it dotted or dashed. If you go into Shape Layer 1, which is your shaft, toggle it open, Contents, Shape 1, Stroke 1, you'll see down at the bottom it says Dashes. If you toggle that open, nothing will happen at the moment. There's also a small plus sign, which will add a dash. If you give that a click, then you'll get a dash and an offset, and your arrow shaft will become dashed. The dash size can be increased by playing with the, uh, the size there. And the offset is keyframeable, so you can have it moving along with or away from the arrow, whichever you'd prefer. To get dots, go up to line cap where it says butt cap, toggle it open and change that to round cap. Set your dash to zero, press the plus button again and you'll get a gap. If you play with the gap, you can spread the dots as far as you would like them. Again, the same thing with the offset will allow you to have them trailing or not trailing as you wish. You can also add more dashes and gaps by pressing the plus button and you'll start to get more interesting shapes and variations that you can play with as much as you like. If you play with the different dash settings, you will find that you end up with different shapes. You can create as many unique shapes as you like. Well, that's the basics of this. Next time we'll be looking at adding things apart from an arrowhead so that if you want a boat or a plane or a train or a whatever you want, look forward to it. <laughs>